in this calculus video we are going to learn when and how to apply quotient rule we apply quotient rule when we have two functions dividing unlike in product rule when the two functions are multiplying you can check out the product rule videos for quotient rule when two functions are dividing you must start by keeping the denominator constant first then you differentiate the numerator next you put a minus it must be a minus this time around unlike product rule where it is a plus next you're going to keep the numerator constant and you differentiate the denominator next at the denominator the function at the denominator will come back but this time around is going to be squared this is the quotient rule formula which we are going to apply in this video let's consider the derivative of this function the first thing you are going to observe is that this function is dividing this function hence we are going to apply quotient rule the first step is to keep the denominator constant next we are going to differentiate the numerator and you have exponential x next you put a minus next you are going to keep the numerator constant which is exponential x next you are going to differentiate the denominator from the basic derivative table when you differentiate sine x your answer is cos x hence the derivative of sine x is cos x according to quotient formula we're going to put a division here next the function at the denominator will return however it will be squared according to the general formula of quotient rule we have just applied quotient rule next is to simplify your result if you factorize exponential out then you will get this we can rewrite the denominator like this both are the same and this becomes our final answer from the options our answer is b next let's consider this question you can observe that both functions are dividing for dividing functions we apply quotient rule the first step is to keep the denominator constant which is cos x next we differentiate the numerator from the basic derivative table when you differentiate sine x you're going to get cos x hence i'm going to have cos x for the derivative of the numerator next i will put a minus and this minus is in the quotient rule formula next i'm going to keep the numerator constant here it is sine x next i'm going to differentiate the denominator which is cos x from the basic derivative table when you differentiate cos x you're going to get minus sine x hence 
I'm going to have minus sign x here for the derivative of cos x. Next, you draw a long line across the numerator. Next, anything at the denominator will come back to the denominator. However, from the quotient rule formula, it's going to be squared. Hence, I'm going to square this. We have completed the application of the quotient rule. Next, we are going to simplify our result. Next, cos x multiplied by cos x. We have cos x squared. Next, we include this minus. Next, sin x multiply minus sin x. We are going to have sin squared x. However, this minus will come to the back. Next, the denominator will just come back. Next, this minus will multiply minus and you are going to get a plus. Next, you can rewrite the function. This and this are the same. This is just a repeat of this. From the basic trigonometric identity functions, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Likewise, cos squared x plus sine squared s is still equal to 1. Hence, everything at this numerator is equal to 1. And at the denominator, we are going to have cos squared x. Subsequently, from the basic trigonometric identity functions, sec x is equal to 1 over cos x. Likewise, 1 over cos squared x is equal to sec squared x. By simplifying our result, our dy dx is sec squared x. From the options, our answer is D. Find the derivative of this function. Both functions are dividing. Hence, we apply quotient rule. The first step, keep the denominator constant. Next, differentiate the numerator. If you differentiate x, it is 1. If you differentiate 1, it is 0. However, I will let the 0 out and I will leave only 1. Next, according to the rule of quotient rule formula, I will put a minus. Next, I will keep the numerator constant, which is x minus 1. Next, I will differentiate the denominator, which is 1, plus if I differentiate 1, is 0, but if I differentiate x, is 1. However, I will let the 0 out, I will leave only 1. Next, I will draw a line across the numerator. Next. I will bring down the value at the denominator, which is x plus 1. However, according to the rule, it's going to be squared. Next, 1 multiplied by x, and you're going to get x. Next, 1 multiplied by 1, and you're going to get 1. Next, we have a minus. 1 multiplied by x and we have x. 
test 1 multiply minus 1 and we're going to get minus 1 and the denominator remain the same next you open up the bracket minus times x we're going to get minus x minus multiply minus 1 we're going to get plus 1 next plus x we take away minus x and our divide the x is 2 divide x plus 1 squared from the options our answer is d next let's find the derivative of this function dy dx or y prime or dxy different notations but mean the same thing step number one keep the denominator constant next differentiate the numerator if you differentiate 2 it is 0 if you differentiate x it is 1 however i'm going to let this 0 out leaving only minus 1 next i will put a minus next i will now keep the numerator constant which is 2 minus x next i will differentiate the denominator if you differentiate 2 it is 0 if you differentiate x it is 1 however i will let this 0 out leaving only 1 next i will draw a line across the numerator next i'm going to bring down the denominator which is 2 plus x however according to the formula of quotient rule i'm going to include a squared at the denominator only next minus 1 times 2 we're going to get minus 2 next minus 1 times x we're going to get minus x next remember our minus next 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 however the 2 multiplied by this minus will leave you with minus 2 1 multiplied by minus x you're going to get minus x minus x multiply by minus you're going to get plus x and the denominator remained unchanged next minus x we cancel out plus x and minus 2 minus 2 will give you minus 4 and the denominator remained unchanged this is our dy dx from the options our answer is a next consider this question to solve the derivative of this function by quotient rule we are going to start by keeping the denominator constant next we differentiate the numerator if you differentiate x squared you're going to get 2x and if you differentiate 1 you're going to get 0 however i'm going to let this 0 out next we put a minus next we're going to keep the numerator constant which is x squared plus 1 next differentiate the denominator which is 1 next you have to draw a line across the numerator next you're going to bring down whatever is at the denominator and here it is x however 
from the formula it will be squared next 2x multiplied by x you're going to get 2x squared next 1 multiplied by x squared is x squared then the x squared multiplied by minus will give you minus x squared next 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 and the 1 multiplied by minus will give you minus 1 next 2x squared minus x squared is going to give you x squared and here you got minus 1 this x squared is dividing this likewise this x squared is dividing this next this will now take away this and this is now our dy dx from the options our answer is b let's consider this question the first thing you observe is that both functions are dividing hence we apply quotient rule step number one is to leave the denominator constant Step number two is to differentiate the numerator and you're going to get two exponential x for this derivative. Next, we're going to keep the numerator constant, which is two exponential x. Next, we're going to differentiate the denominator. From basic derivative table, when you differentiate sine x, you're going to get cos x. Hence, I'm going to have cos x for the derivative of sin x. Next, I will draw a line across the numerator. And the value of the function at the denominator will come back. However, according to quotient rule formula, the denominator will be squared hence sine x will be squared we have applied quotient rule to this function next is to simplify our result next open up the bracket next factorize two exponential x out and this becomes our dy dx. From the options, our answer is A. Next, consider this question. Let's find the derivative of this function. Step number one, keep the denominator constant, which is the natural log of x. Next, differentiate the numerator, which is 2x. Next, you put a minus. Next, you keep the numerator constant, which is x squared. Next, you differentiate the natural log of x. From the basic derivative table, if you differentiate the natural log of x, you are going to get 1 over x. Remember that the natural log of x is the same thing as log x to the base of exponential. Hence, I'm going to have 1 over x, which is the derivative of the natural log. Next, I'm going to draw a line across the numerator. And I'm going to bring down the value, which is the natural log of x at the denominator. According to the quotient rule formula, the denominator will be squared. 
Hence, this will be squared. Next, this x will take care of one of these x. And this becomes our dy dx. From the options, our answer is C. In the next video, we are going to consider a tricky quotient rule question with product rule and chain rule. This is calculus. In subsequent videos, we are going to be looking at chain rule, when and how to apply. And you can locate all the videos. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration, including their applications.